Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neymar here, and welcome to another episode of Outer Wilds, a solar system exploration mystery game where we're stuck in a time loop and we're trying to figure out what is going on. You can find the full playlist in the comment description below the video, I already have quite a few. Or even better, just go and play it, it's an amazing game, uh, it's a spoiler full game, so if you intend to play it, well, play it before watching it, and then come back and be like, haha, Niamh, you have no idea. Anyway, uh, you can find the playlist there, and yeah, other than that, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy if you're still here, <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm doing today. Um, Maybe we'll try to go find the Lake Bat Cave and uh, explore the Sunless City a bit more. Sounds like a thing to me. Let's do that. Uh, previous episode I spent uh, flying around the sun. <laughs> it was fun and I achieved absolutely nothing. But if you wanna go watch that, well, feel free to do so if you didn't yet. Anyway, uh, I would also like to teleport into the Hanging City when the... And the gravity thing, it's like nice and ready to be uh, accessed. The the black hole generator, right? So I'm gonna go to the there first and uh, I'm gonna get the thing ready. And then we're gonna go to the twins and we're gonna explore there a little bit and hopefully don't die and then maybe teleport and yeah, okay, it all sounds good, good, more or less, fine-ish. I should start writing down where everything is though. Like, yeah, it's okay, autopilot. I'll take it from here. Okay, slow down. Okay, I didn't do a really good job at doing that, but okay, here we are. Here we are. This is where we want to go. Firing retro rockets. Hello there, Mr. Whatever you are, Meteor Comet. I don't know. Mm, this thing doesn't have that much gravity. I'm having trouble like, getting down here. Oh, yeah, there we go. I say that and then we make contact. Now, why are we here? Well, there is a hole in the ground here where we're gonna use it to get to the city. To the hanging city and uh, lower the the thing. Lower the black hole generator, right? Okay, I still think this is the easiest way to do it. One of these days I'm gonna try to jump down here, see if I survive. That day, however, it is not today, so. This is what it is. Okay, and just hop, 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 hop. So you move much faster when you hop around like a little bunny rabbit. Okay, I'm gonna get this thing up. And I'm gonna be teleporting there, hopefully. Did not test it out yet if this thing is up and I teleport. If that actually works. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's go to the twins. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder, do we again, like, see something interesting and... Oh, okay. Barely, just barely. My crusty old jet back and me. Okay, let's go up. Let's... Woo! Blue, I'm blue, the body, body, then. Ah, uh, good. And now, no. Exiting this place a little bit harder than entering. Ah, uh, okay. So last time I got super confused. This time I didn't, so that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna hop to our tank. <laughs> Woo! We can see our shadow. Looks good. And let's refuel. There we go. And let's go to the twins. So the twins, that's the interlooper. All right. So for those of you who watched my adventure around the sun, so how much did I practice it before I actually recorded the video? Uh, put the bats down and I'm really curious what you're gonna say and for some reason I'm moving way too fast No, 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 the sun just loves me The sun just loves me <sighs> Okay, 
Okay, let's try this again. I was sure I'm dead there. But yeah, how... <laughs> for how... Oh no, it's on the other side. Oh boy. So, for how long did I practice before the video? I was recording, but... It wasn't good material, so I scrapped it. Haha. <laughs> uh, you can let me... You can guess in the comments. And if you guess, and you go do a good guess, I'm gonna tell you a fun story. Uh, what also happened. So yeah, make sure to comment, read, and tell all that good stuff. Maybe even like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Uh, we are closing this thing a little bit too fast again. Okay, so now, what exactly am I doing? I forgot. Um, so we're waiting for enough sand to move away from there so we can actually use the teleport. And we are exploring the city. Oh, I think uh, I think this is the good place to start, yeah? Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna go, I guess, we're going into the... Into the fossil place. Um, where is it? Here. Ooh, no. I think there's the entrance. We also may have to make sure to get out of there fast enough before all hell breaks loose. Okay. Oh, I remember this place. Um, what do we do here? We jump across there. There we go. And then we jump across there, I want to say. There we go. Good. Good, good. Getting better at this. Okay. Bam. Open sesame, and here we are. And then, hmm. oh yeah, I actually know what I kind of wanna check out. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, okay. So here we have Anglerfish Overlook District. Uh, pretty sure I checked out that thing, and then we got. We got the, what is this? The Stepping Stone District. Okay, I'm not interested in that. There we go. But it might be easier to get places. Oh, that looks so nice. What is this place? High Energy Lab Trailhead. Ooh, that sounds good. Where is that? Okay, let's turn off everything else. High Energy Lab sounds exciting. Okay. That. Okay. So do we need to go up or down to find it? Uh, let's go down first because, well... Oh, maybe we need to get here before the sand fills it up. Yeah, it might be. Okay, is the high energy lab like below the sand here? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay. So we need to get here faster if we want to observe it, maybe? Mm, okay. Let's 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 note a mental note. A mental note will note that we need to get here. But there's also this place. What is this? A stepping stone cave. Now, I was in the stepping stone cave and I used the stepping stone cave. What's up here? Whoa, this looks dangerous. Okay. I think I already explored this place a little bit. I think I already died here before. Hello there. Okay, what is this? Hmm. Okay. Ooh, I don't think I did. wasn't here. Hello. It's a trap! It's a trap! Aha. So there is a trap. Oh, that's a long way down. Let's go here. Try not to bump into those. Oh, it's in here. It's safe, looks safe. Okay. Wait. 
Is this the place? Is this the place? No. Whew. That was close. Okay, I think I died down here before. Okay, let's go here. Let's jump in there. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa it's spiky. Spiky. Nothing here. Any more up? I don't think so. You know what's gonna be sad? If we get out and my ship's not there anymore, that wouldn't be that great. And if we go outside here, we can move up, further up. So what's up here? Other than spiky boys. Spiky boys. Oh, spiky boys. Okay, we need to find, we need to find a oxygen tank now. What's up here? Oh, okay. Can we go through here? Ha! Oh, Geronimo! <clears throat> Geronimo! Are you silly, silly sand? Geronimo! I feel like there is something there. Wait. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Let's continue. It's a dark cave. Is this a stepping stone cave? No, it's a terrace. Okay, what's here? A gravity cannon. Okay, this is where we exited the place. Okay. Right, uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, this thing didn't fill up yet. Okay. Alright, so didn't really discover much here, but that's alright. Let's, um... Let's go re-oxygenize ourselves. I'm gonna go to the Ash Twin then. Woo! It's dark. There's a ship. Please don't take my ship away. Not like this. Not yet. What's up with the gravity being so weak though? Got used to the sun's gravity, I guess. Oxygenize. There we go. Nice. Okay. And let's go to the Ash Twin then. So, let's see where it is. It's there. Okay. Come on. This direction. Ooh. A little bit. Not very early. But probably not late either. No, I don't remember where everything goes. So this is the this is the twin towers. Okay. No. Good. Ah, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I. Okay. I hate this. Please. I hate this planet. <laughs> this planet so much worse than the the other one. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> I miss Brittle Rock. I really do. <laughs> At least there you don't. Not sure what that was all about. At least there you don't surprisingly lose your ship and get tossed in the air at the same time. I should really remember which one of these towers is the real thing though. I need to remember that. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. There's also the... Oh, come on! <laughs> no! <laughs> like, what's up with my luck today? Oh, come on. Good, 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 good. Oh, snap. Okay. Like, what are the odds that the thing's just going over my head just as I'm about to do the thing? Okay, where does this go? I have no idea. Okay, I have no idea where this thing goes. Let's find out. Let's write it down. So this looks like... How does this thing look like? I don't even know. But it has a gravity crystal inside. 
So the place with gravity crystals, maybe there's clues inside where it goes. Um, no, it doesn't say much in here. Um, there you go. Uh, here's our first delivery, one more core, French to the black root, installing it. Underway. Okay, we read this already. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say where it goes. Is that... Is that the picture of the... Of the deep giant thing? Well, only one way to find out, yeah. But then we're not gonna be able to... Oh, we'll be able to come back, never mind. We can always come back. Because the thing recharges. Okay, I'm gonna say this goes to Giant's Deep. So there's gravity crystals here, and this thing goes to Giant's Deep. Let's write this down. Okay. So, place with gravity crystals. Graph crystals. Oh no! That's the place. That's the place. Never mind. Ooh. Hello there. General Kenobi. So this is the Black Hole Forge. Hello. Now you have to be careful. We are standing on magnetic surface upside down, mind you. Return warp site is charged. Departure time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what now? Let's do this thing. Black hole forge left, 30 meters. Uh, yeah, that's all nice and well. And let's enter it, I guess. Okay. So we are walking upside down on Brittle Hollow. I did say I missed this place, but I'm so nervous now that I'm actually here. Um, okay. Is this a trap? It might be a trap. Okay, we're gonna enter enter the, the place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, what now? Can we move up, please? Do I need to jump? <laughs> oh no, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. So this is the black hole, ge black hole for generator. Ship look updated. Yeah, I made it here. <laughs> Thank you for. Oh, here we can see the black hole. Best view ever. Okay, there's one of these here, but I don't think this was like. No, I am not your structure. I'm not your thing. Like. Okay. Oh, look. It's a ash green projection stone. I mean, we already used that, right? Oh, what's that? Oh, what does this button do? Okay, regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? Well, yeah. I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. Ooh. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body's center. That's still pretty exact, I would say. Of no, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stamping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Right. Ship lock updated. So what's this thing? Ooh. You see that? It it was shiny. So what do we do here? Oh. <laughs> where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they are ready? All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. Ok. 
Okay. Oh, are the warp towers powered by the black hole cores? My gratitude. In that case, poke Clary. I'm leaving for the liver. I'll send Yarrow your guards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations. So these deliverers will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. Okay. Pain in your cervical spine. Uh, the tower designs in the high the tower designs in high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yaro, he's familiar with them. So from this it seems like these come in fairs, pairs. You have a black hole core and you have a white white hole core. The black hole core goes into the towers and the the white one goes to the receivers. Oh, there's one more thing here. Um Hello. I'm going to pick this thing up. Remove it. There we go. Drop it. Put the other one in. There we go. Of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. Namely, that one of the warp towers on Ashton will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. <laughs> Does your romantic interesting a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that the warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? All right. What isn't an unreasonable belief given the receiver does have to be located or or in close orbit around the relevant astral body? Okay. I seem to recall that, that that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yara understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the Hourglass Twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body, with a shared alignment point in between them. Okay. Right, so if we want to teleport to the sun station, what is its astral body? A sun? I would say so, since it's uh, orbiting it. Now what do we do with this thing? Oh, no. I'm really anxious when playing this game. Give me the information. I have good news, Yaro. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. It is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Ooh, threats. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. Okay. Now, I'm not actually sure I can do this. Um, so, I would like to put this thing in here. Is there any reason to do this, though? Like, what is this thing? Ash Twin Projection Stone. Yeah, I would have was at the place where this will project us to, so... Yeah, what... My ship's moving. Um, <laughs> of course it is moving. Well, we found lots of new stuff here, so that makes me happy. Read this thing. What's the time, anyway? Ooh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I heard the music starting, by the way. Can we go inside here? I can. Good. Exit to surface. Okay. Okay, these are the broken towers we couldn't climb up to. 
and we have one more thing here black hole forge north 40 meters yeah great exit the surface i think this thing is blocked actually no it's not ah, okay okay i know where i'm gonna get to so wait what well, i wish this thing was working it would be such a nice uh, with such a nice ho shortcut to the to the tower and i'm stuck actually now i can't go back to the <laughs> doesn't matter though this thing will reset anyway really really soon okay so finally finally i visited the the thing yeah that was this was a really productive episode i finally visited the the black hole forge we had the story about that now after we reset we're gonna hello there please don't please don't leave me alone no i don't wanna die um but yeah we're gonna read the logs now get some more summarized understanding of all the information that the, the ship will store um <coughs> But my information is like, yeah, you make two cores, black hole, white hole core. You put one on one side, one on the other side, you align them, and then you can teleport between them. Now, I don't know the details, but we know how it works in practice. So, it's funny how you learn about these things after you have to teleport at least once, though. Oh, I didn't write it down. Place with gravity crystals. This goes to... So, that is the... That is the launcher, and the receiver is uh, the gravity hull generator at uh, Brittle Hollow. All right. There was some talking about like things not being aligned and like stuff like that um right let's go read the logs all right so black hole forge a warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver, rather a warp tower always aligns to be the center of its corresponding astral body. Now that's super weird to me, but okay, why would that be? The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The Argos twins are so close together that they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. I mean, this is only useful if you're gonna actually be doing some alignment, right? Which we might, actually. <laughs> All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. If that is true, why is one of the warp towers at the... at the white hole? A nomad named Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. That's it. Alignment angle diagram. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within 5 degrees of the astral body's center. This results in slightly longer warp windows than that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping... So this is just to explain, like... That... There's a window. So you might accidentally walk into it. Otherwise, you would never be able to accidentally walk into it, right? Because like the window would be so small, like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, st uh, anyone stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. Okay, so this diagram is just showing like what's going on, okay. Black Hole Forge, Oof, this place, scary place. Um. The dark glass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. Interesting. 
Okay, what's this thing? Ashtwin project. Every memory recorded by Anoma statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ashtwin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. So there is a central chamber of Ash Twin where advanced core is, and I was not there yet, so maybe that's something to visit in the future. Statue workshop. Okay, we saw that. Okay. Ash Twin Towers. Several large Nomad Towers form a ring around Ash Twin's equator. The Whitehall Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin project. Okay. Right. Ash Twin Tower Designs. There are tower designs in the high energy lab that reveal each warp's receiver's location. Right. So we need to get to there as fast as possible high energy lab the negative time interval measured at the white hole station was further investigated at the okay what's the time okay let me just reset real fast and let's try to get to let's try to get to the high energy lab So we need to get to the to the Ember Twin before the sand starts filling up and go to the bottom. Let's get to the bottom of this. Um, right. Let's not forget our spacesuit. Okay. Right. Okay. There's the sun. Okay. Let's turn the autopilot on. Okay. Ah, the sun station, look at it circling. So I think it's fair to assume that... One of the towers leads there. I just maybe didn't explore all of them quite yet. Actually, I want to go there. Okay, but yeah, yeah, we have this problem. Yeah, we... Need to wait for it to circle around. Then go here. Okay, I need to find... Okay, the gravity. Okay, this thing also has a teleportation thing. I don't think that thing's working, though. Okay, where's the... Where's the gravity thing? Okay, there it is. Okay, good. Let's go. Um... I think it's here. Okay. Okay, good. Go down here. I don't know if this is the fastest way. It's the fastest way I know, though. As long as I didn't mess it up. Okay. There we go. Whoa! Well, good thing that didn't crash me. Okay. Energy, high energy tra trail. Oh, whoa! That's not good. No, I need light. So... Here? Things are already filling up. Okay. So I feel like we need to go down here, yeah? This is the place. High energy lab. There we go. Bam! We found it. Good. Anything else might be of interest here. I don't think so. It's filling up though, so I should really go. Okay. Oh, this thing is following it. Mm. What's here? Except bunch of spiky boys, not much. Okay, let's move on. Follow the energy thing. Oh crap. Um Um Yeah, 
Yeah, that wasn't that great. Wait. Uh. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get across here, right? I think... But then there are cactus on the other side. Did I get here too late, though? I don't think so. Can I stand on this thing? Nope. Maybe? Come on. Ooh, we can. Oh, no, no, no! Okay. Uh, we can go through it. Ah, uh, this is just... Okay, maybe we try Geronimo with again, or maybe there's... Hmm. Maybe there's another way through. Could it be? That's a long fall. Looks kind of promising. Wait. Hmm. I mean, once this fills up, I'll be able to like move across. That's true. I'm not gonna have a big, very big window though. No, it's okay. All right. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, okay, interesting. I wonder if I need to go through there. Oh crap. Oh no. Let's go through here. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. No. Dead end. Oh. Okay, goes up, goes up. Do we go up? I guess so. Energy app? Energy lab? Here? Oh, I can hear... Oh, come on. Alright. It's going up there, but... First of all, this is going down, so we can't go up anyway, so I guess we go here. I mean, where else would I go right now? Oh no. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. So, we can see outside from here. What's this? Uh, here? Here? Yeah, I don't even know where I am or why am I here or what this is all about, but I'm gonna continue following the cramps, I guess. And now we are here, wherever here is. Um, ooh. Oh, crap. Um. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is empty. Mm. 
I feel like this is really important here. I feel like by changing this setup here, we can activate some places which are otherwise not activatable. Uh, I think my priority right now is to figure out how to get here faster. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver of Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from White Hole Station. Ram and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine IR. I remember that. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the White Hole Station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exist, exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Okay. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at this time. We already know about that. Okay. An update. Our experiment... I think they're safe though. Our experiment here produced the anomaly. <laughs> I'm having PTSD from that thing. Un our experiment here produced by anomaly in arrival. Uh, I'm not really having a PTSD, but like I feel very high anxiety. An update. Our experiment here produced by anomaly in arriving and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raymond, I care and are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Of note, Rami, your request that we let him know before we route energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. Dun dun. Uh, right. So, okay. So they did it. Oh, what happens when we move that? I would really... Oh, there's another scroll here. Okay. I would really ha like to find another way into this thing. The Ashfin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ashtwin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers like the one we have on the White Hole Station to connect Ashtwin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower in Ashtwin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. <laughs> we can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. Ooh. Okay. The giant deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber heart tower after a geyser mountain. Well, I did notice they are weird shaped, but I never connected it to the planets. Poke root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the black hole fort. This will keep us busy. Okay, <laughs> there's scrolls all over the place. Okay. Oh, here we can see the towers. So, I guess this is the sun. This one goes to the sun. This one... Oh, this is interesting. Aren't these the Ash Twins? So, this one goes to the Ash Twins. It's just useless, um, since everything is an Ash Twins, no? Uh, this one... I don't even know what that is. Uh, this one... Nope. Oh, this is the tornado, right? This one goes to the Giant's Deep. Wait, how many are there? Three, four, five... There's five. What was that? The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Oh boy. 22 minutes sounds very close to how the, the time loop lasts. Have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. 
So I guess the end starts when the thing arrives. Otherwise, whole and the game ends when it enters. If you learn the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Okay. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. And then they build the sun station. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. Okay. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas by What? My pun was unintended, Rami. So I believe it's you who is a IRE form. Okay, that's some kind of weird insults and stuff. Okay. To have something arrive 22 minutes before, like my brain hurts even thinking about that. Like, breaks, like, as a human being, I'm asleep of causality and this just doesn't feel right to me. Oh, look at that. And where are we gonna end up at? Okay. So we found the entrance. I need to, like, get my bearings here, though. No. I don't like that sound. Is it far enough? I don't build I don't trust this thing like at all. Come on. Okay, but we know it's somewhere close where this thing passes. Okay, we can take a look down, though. Ooh. Like, going over the canyon. Oh! We can probably find this power thing. And just jump on this terrace up here. Okay. What's this? High energy lab. Okay. Well, I did find way in. Yay! This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ashtwin project. If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City Path. Be sure to use the Sunless City Path to the lab. Oh, come on, no. Rami and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Uh, grumble, grumble. Rami and I will be running this experiment. Uh, right. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have, have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. So I suppose we will not be able to enter through here once we are done. Which sucks, but okay. Um, what's this thing? The sun is city, 300 meters. Wait, was I here before? These steps look oddly familiar. Oh, look, this shouldn't be too hard to find, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was here before. This is the projection place. Yeah, this is one of the first things we saw when we started playing the game, when we first came to the Brittle Hollow and inserted Ash Twin Projection Stone. This is what we saw, this thing. Um, and then if you go here... There are steps here. And then on the right side of the steps is actually the entrance. Oh, there's also steps here, right? So here are the steps. Oh, very close to the base. What's on this side? Any more steps here? Anything like that? No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Right, but I don't think I'll be able to enter. But... Mm. But. 
Maybe the doors will be open, who knows? Okay. Oh, is this the door that needs to remain closed? I remember being here. Oh, crap. Um, so we can't go through here. So this would be like a normal way to enter, right? Through there. Unless we can find another way in. There might be another way in here around that. I mean, I'm definitely not going to find it now that everything's full of sand, but... What's the time? Okay. Oof. Crap. Uh, I wanted to play for like five more minutes and 20 minutes passed. Um, I don't have time for this. That's... Oh, no. Okay, maybe... Uh, hmm. There's a couple of things that I'm interested about here. So, right. So this pillar here goes to the sun station. Like one, two, one, two, three, four, five things. Five things. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Well, so I wanted to go and play a little bit with those black hole things. Oh. Hello, but I guess not. What we played with it, we played with it. What's confusing me is like... Some of them look like white, some of them look black, and some of them look like there's nothing in there. So I guess that would explain why some of the towers are working and some of them are not. I guess. Oh, the sun's looking oh so red. Nice blush you got there, my friend. Nice blush. Okay. I am on the amber twin. Oh, where's my ship? There. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about jumping and ending up into the sun. This is so close. Oh well, I'll do it anyway. What happens, happens. Like if my ship is even reachable at this point. Oh look, it's the gravity cannon of that. I don't know, this game is so anxious in this sink. What's that? Also, I'm super close to the sun. Where's the sun station? I almost feel like I could touch it. No, it's probably under the... Okay. This is not good for my nerves, dude. Okay. Games should be fun. Games should be fun. And this sun thing is like really, really scary. I don't like this. Where's my... Like, can I even, like... The sun expanded, it had to expand, right? There's no way it was so big before. It's so close by. And looking oh so dangerous. 
No, I. Okay, wait. Okay, so I wanna go there. Okay, let's go to the core maybe. Oh, exit ship to repair. No, no, we're, we're fine. We don't need a ship. Come on, stop spinning your thing. Let's go to the core. Oh, come on. Dude, what's happening? There. Okay, uh, I don't see anything smart here. Uh, okay. Come on. Wait, can I like... There we go, match velocity. Nothing here. I was promised something at the core. Mm. Our game's like, hey, hey, no we don't. Okay, let's exit here. Real fast. if there is anything we can do here oh no that's the big thing no no i don't want to go here well we can take a nice look at the sun before it devours us I don't like this place at all. Oh, oh. Okay. Where else do we wanna go? There's a ship. Hmm. I'll just walk around here a little bit. Maybe I notice something. But like, I'm so close to the center of the planet right now. I'm basically like very low gravity. There's nothing here, dude. Is this the other tower? Might be. This one also goes up. Oh, hello there, Mr. Sun. You exploded. Hmm. Yeah. Sure did. Sure did. Looks so pretty. So, so pretty. Right, so I played out two full cycles. Well, that's new. That's never gonna happen again, so hopefully enjoy that. Um, right, I, I think there's not gonna be an episode tomorrow. Um, sorry. So, this is like a double episode for both tonight and tomorrow. So, yeah. Double episode, double episode. Maybe it will be. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. Yeah, I really didn't plan to, like. No, I was just having so much fun. I was like, uh, I just really wanna go there and check it out, you know? And, uh, well, I was successful. No. There's a lot of questions I have, so we're gonna go and consult the ship log. Bah, this place. There's like no risk though, like, why am I so anxious? There's like zero risk, you just sit and play the game. Oh, look at that, see this? This reminds me of something. Just sit and relax the game, like, zero risk. If you die, just go and try again, like, I don't know, I'm like this. Just super anxious about everything. Okay. High energy lab. The anomaly successfully reproduced the temporal anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. Warp objects appear to arrive before they depart. The anomaly discovered that uh, they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp course. The anomaly wanted to know if a 22-minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle these those energies. Ashtwin was proposed as a location for the project. Oh, what if that's what we need to do? Would it be possible for the object to arrive 22 minutes before it actually departed? Oh, uh, I see. So if I can do that, I could reset the cycle. And this will give me more time to do stuff. So I could do something, 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 then enter a black hole or whatever, a teleport, appear 22 minutes earlier than I actually entered, then in theory watch myself do it over again, but never mind that, then I would like 
I would be able to go, I would be able to be at two places at the same time on the start of the cycle. I don't know if we're doing that, but that's like an interesting, exciting idea. Ash Twin Tower Designs. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many no were quick to know that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial for the Ash Twin project. And it will also allow us, right? So here we can see five places. So the sun, I guess, maybe, maybe not. Ash Twin, this, this might be Brittle Hollow. I don't even know. This, I don't know. This is the this is the giant's deep the the tornado thing I remember that from the stories. Okay. The Nomad plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval in Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by Nomad statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Okay. So we need to still find this central station and we also need to Maybe create advanced warp core, who knows, who knows. Many question marks. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. The Nomai built something called a sun station, but not everyone supported its construction. Did they turn it on? Maybe it needs to be turned on. Hmm. Hum hum hum. Oh, the quantum moon. The sixth location. <sighs> Lake Bat Cave. The wandering rock was first spotted in a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Nominate Colius mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Why did he mysteriously vanish? Yeah, there's like some like a lot of clues we could follow. Like, one of the things I could try is, I could try finally teleporting to the sun station. So, uh, the thing I could definitely do is, I could go to the Ash Twin Towers. I could find all the teleporting places. And uh, try using them, and then writing down where each one of them goes. My final goal was probably be to find the one that goes to the sun station. Now, if it's not working... If it's not working, I could go to the high energy lab and play with those little holes in there, black holes, because maybe it's not powered. Because that looks a place where those are placed, right? Hmm. The high energy lab. By adding energy to the warp cores. Oh, we would need to add energy to the warp cores. Does that mean we have to take a warp core, take it to the sun station, add energy to it, then come back, put it in there? Mm. I don't know. Like, sounds like a very fun thing to do, though. There's also some side activities we might do just to relax a little bit from this crazy episode that this was. I also need to revisit the Dark Bramble. Okay, so next episode. Next episode. I'm gonna go to the Ash Twin Towers, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna try them all out and write down where each one of them goes because even though I have a good idea from these pictures here, I'm still not like, you know, 100% sure what's what. I mean, this has to be the Ash Twin, right? And this has to be the Sun. But I also wanna confirm for each one of these and also like, there's like five of them. Yeah, so I think we're gonna do that. Problem is, we cannot access this right away. Uh, well, what we could do is, we could go back to the high energy lab and like look at those little holes again while we're waiting for this thing to uncover. Yeah. Alternatively, we could go something el uh, somewhere else. I'll see how I feel, I guess, when I go down and record. 
But yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do some nice things, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Outer Wilds, the Neomer signing out. It's going to be in two days, I think. Yeah, this is a double episode for today and tomorrow, I think. The Neomer signing out. Bye-bye.